Do you remember when Kevin Durant was posing as someone who wasn't Kevin Durant so he could defend Kevin Durant on social media sites? Great moment. It was it was barely months. And one of those times in which he was defending himself <laughs> when he was not being himself, he wrote the following. Imagine taking Russ off that team. See how bad they were? KD can't win a championship with those cats. <laughs> well, Russell Westbrook has responded in the most Russell Westbrook way by wearing a t-shirt. That t-shirt says on it, adopt a cat. Let me see, oh my God, he's the best. I call this competitiveness <laughs> because it's competitive and petty. I've been trying to make that word happen and for months now. Yeah, and he's the best at it. And he is the most competitive wow competitive player competitive. in the National Basketball Association. How much do you love this? I, so, full disclosure, I'm Italian, I am a Scorpio, and I never forget things. That seems like three right? very unrelated traits. <laughs> no, okay, okay. you would think so. Okay. But Scorpios, and I'm not even an astrology person, but they tend to be fiery, and Italians tend to be sort of fiery and vengeful. Mm. Um, and I am, I feel like I'm probably those things. Not actively, I don't think, I mean, I'm never going to be as good as he is. The fact that he continues to sort of outdo himself as a, as a professional troll and he's so likable that he's, I, he's the perfect it. combination. Nothing, I, nothing's going to beat the idea that you signed the single greatest NBA contract in history. Largest. On Kevin Durant's birthday. That, that remember never, the photographer's vest yes, so and the good. cupcake thing? Yes. Like one of the things that makes me think is like, he's probably taking shots at ex-girlfriends and like old high school coaches and teachers that failed him. We just don't know what the references are, but I feel like he's always insulting 15 people every time he does anything. Like I made this shirt that says bless your heart because the only time I say it is when I really think you're a moron and I'm condescending to you. So yeah, so you are so now <laughs> disrespecting every single person yeah. that sees you, that, but well, you know. don't know. No, only if they, you know, they know who they are. You know who you is. He signed the extension on <laughs> Kevin Durant's birthday because you know he probably agreed to those terms. Oh God, yeah. Ten days earlier, but he was like, you know what, guys, we're not gonna announce. This. I have this idea. I'm really feeling like we should announce it. I think it was the 26th, whatever, it was, 29th, whatever it was. Just like, let me just let's hold off on the news for a couple days. Bam. I loved Professional. it. Professional. He is so competitive. Here's the thing. This is one of the reasons that I love the National Basketball Association. Like these interpersonal, super yes. petty, dramatic, like you read way too much into it, little storylines are the reasons I love this sport more than the other sports. Do you agree? I agree with you. And we can see everybody as they're doing it. Mm -hmm. We can watch them do it all on social media. I can media. recognize them when they walk in you the room. You can recognize them. And yeah. there aren't as many of them as there are across the other sports. So point. it's just it's just an easier focal point for us because mm -hmm. we all have like attention span problems. Um, but yeah, I as a girl, as a girl and a woman, I always thought like, you know, we always got the reputation of like drama queen and you guys are always girls yeah, can't exactly. be friends and like, yeah, like yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's, it's all garbage. However, it's fun to sort of watch now because like, man, m boys and men are ridiculous sometimes thankfully because it's really it gives us like you and i i don't always want to be serious about all this stuff this stuff gives us something to talk about that's actually fun and lighthearted, and i like it it's i i could care less who wins the game between <laughs> the Cavs and the celtics on the 17th it's like the first yeah. game of the season i could care less yeah, i don't care who wins the games i just want to see lebron james and kyrie irving interact whether physically or verbally yep. or whatever happens uh what the next the storyline is not going to be well the Cavs won by 15 they did a really good job working kevin love into the starting they rotation at the set, at the five, that's not what it's going to be. It's going to be. Did you see that one time when LeBron James blocked Kyrie Irving's shot and then he stared they're at him? So they're going to be ISO shots on both of them the entire of the time. game, which there better be. Um, and it's, I think it's a, is that a TNT? Yeah, they got the first yes. one right. So it's just going to be. I love it because I'm not a stats nerd. I like stories. I like human nature. I like watching all that. And this has just been great.